Hello everyone, Jurassic Man here today, and before I start this review, I'm just gonna say I'm a little sick, so my voice would sound a bit weird. But anyways, as the title of this video says, we're gonna be reviewing... Oh jeez. I really don't know where to put this guy. He's a Kenner scope, but he was released in a Hasbro line. Well then again, the Lost World is a Hasbro line, as it says on the side. But, I'm just gonna say it. The Kenner slash Hasbro 1999 Jurassic Park Dinosaur line Electronic Dilophosaurus. Hmm. As many people know, the Dilophosaurus only appeared in one movie and mentioned in the second movie and never even seen or even mentioned in the third movie. Only appearing in the fourth movie as a hologram and as some teaser shows it would be a main uh, dino in the fifth movie if you had spoilers I'm sorry I'll say in the description <laughs> uh, yeah that was my description of the Dilophosaurus in the Jurassic Park line that's short and sweet you know anyone that can understand okay um, this Dilophosaurus is actually quite rare to get as it is one of the few Dilophosaurus, or actually, one of the two Dilophosaurus that only got a second repaint. The other one will be the Spitting Dilophosaurus, which I do have, but I'll review on a later time. Uh, I want to get these separate because that one's an original. This is uh, JP Dinos. Now, the JP Dinos was a line that was made right after uh, Kenner's uh, Chaos Effect line. Uh, what was supposed to be there was the series 2 of Chaos Effect Night Hunter, but eventually Hasbro closed the curtains and blew down the building of the Kenner, and now they took over. Without a Jurassic Park movie at the time, it didn't really get much sales, so most of these figures, uh, not many people have. A lot of people have the Stegosaurus or the Cyclops Raptor or the Young T-Rex. And that's about it. Not many people have any of the other ones. Not really much. Uh, the least common ones to get are the electronic ones, which includes this Dilophosaurus. And a repaint that I will show right after. Well, not a repaint. I mean a, a re You know, you know the other one if you study Jurassic Park and stuff. So yeah, this guy is rare. He's even more rare with his crest, which I do have. He came in a bundle with the original JP Dinosaur, with uh, the original Jurassic Park uh, Spitting Raptor, and this guy for only $10. A great catch. A really great catch. But this guy is... He's very unique. I'm actually very uh, happy that I actually got a rare variation. Uh, the Lophosaurus variation are kind of hard to find, especially the JP ones. I mean the JP Dino ones. Uh, sorry about the misspelling, but yeah. Uh, let's get right to the review. Um, as I said, this is a repaint of the original Jurassic Park of Di Di Dilophosaurus from the first movie, and I think it was re-released for the series two with a movie collector's card. And. That one didn't get a capture gear, only the uh, spinning one did, which is kind of stupid because the spinning one, in my opinion, is not very interesting. Sure, it spits, but we got some other Dilophosaurus, another one that spits, but I don't know. The water catches in the water rubber and just messes it up, but yeah, as I was saying, this guy is definitely a repaint of the original one, so he would have different color variation than the original one but he does have the same original scope as the first one as you see on the other side it is exactly as it is because this is a repaint now I don't know the plastic variation difference I don't know if this is the same soft material for the frill but we'll see that in a minute uh, this guy should have a capture gear he looks more impressive with a capture gear Maybe like a head cover so he doesn't spit out his head. <laughs> that actually would have been a better idea. 
So yeah, let's get right to details. And he has incredible details as he has this, let's get this. He has these rough scales on the side of his bodies. They're a little hard to see thanks to the camera, but he has a lot of bumps throughout his body from his back to his tail. On his back of his neck he has ridges and on the side of his face he has bumps. I don't know what's wrong with the focusing on that face. But yeah, you can see in the far away they're pretty clear that he has rib details on him. Some skin folds. He has a very crocodilian underbelly that goes all the way down to right here on the tail. And the tail's flexible but it's not there's no wire in it so it goes back in place. It has leg articulations but I'm not gonna move the legs because it took forever to get this guy in a standing position where he doesn't fall over. Uh, I got him warp legged. I already fixed it but it just got back to normal so I have no idea how to permanently fix that or temporarily fix that for a long period of time. He has arm articulations that go this far back and this far front. I said arm articulation because one arm moves. The other one is for its action feature. And as you can see, there's a trigger that moves his mouth down and that gives us electronic feature. The original one came in the electronic screaming dino pack, which uh, included the screaming raptor. Now, unlike the screaming raptor, it has a somewhat movie roar that sounds nothing like it. Honestly, I think Kenner was kind of drunk to know what dinosaurs sound like, but then again, they didn't really have much information on dinosaur roars. Alright, so as you can see, he has JP on him. Just JP, that was the main dinosaur line. Future lines would have JP on both sides of the body. Uh, this video is pretty long, so let me cut this straight. Okay, so he has this little bump on the top of his head. I don't know what that's for, but that's actually for the frill to stop moving. It snaps in like that, and it stays in like that. Uh, it's supposed to be somewhere up here, but it just falls back down. And because of this, he is top heavy now. So let's get right to the feature, and I gotta warn you, this guy is even louder than the Raptor. Watch this. Listen carefully, but headphone users, beware. He is extremely loud. I can hear him from, like, outside, actually. But he has a voice box right here, a little hole. I could get him and stuff like that. He has batteries in it. Then it came with batteries, but he has batteries. Not only does it, if you just press it once and he screams twice. I just did that because it looks nice. I think the original one that if you, even if you do that again for a second roar, he does a third one. So basically it's the end of the cycle. I don't know. I only saw one video like that. I don't really see much people review this guy, especially his second variation. Because believe me, I'm pretty sure nobody out there with a camera on and a YouTube channel and a dedication to Jurassic Park love would not film this guy ever. They probably don't even know he he's even existed. Or even a rare variation. I could go off for like 30 or more. Especially with a frill. Now the frill is very nice. It has soft plastic. I don't know if it's supposed to be bent this way, but it looks nice like that. Okay, before this video gets higher, let me compare it with the most recent uh, uh, depiction of the uh, Dilophosaurus Rex. I mean, Dilophosaurus. <laughs> Whoops, spoiler. But, uh, here is his Jurassic World dinosaur variation, dino hybrid variation. Basically, the same sculpt as the original one. His legs are horribly warped like this guy, but so warped that he can't even stand anymore. Uh, I mean, he can't stand to stay focused on the video anymore, but you get it. Now, unlike the old one that had a re replaceable crest, 
This one comes with two floppy ones that screw on the side of his face. Pretty impressive, Hasbro. Pretty impressive. This is just like a few hunt, a few years apart, and yet already they kind of screwed up. I mean, they could have just used the Dreadcore Core Three Rack Tact one, which is actually a pretty good one. If only the frill could be removed, and that's it, and not curved in a strange position. All right. Now, this is going to be the biggest comparison because I'm going to show you all the dinosaurs I have that I believe to have a repaint in the original JP Dino line. Alright, bear with me everyone. I'm going to get everyone out here. We have the Packy, the Cyclops Raptor, don't ruin this now boy, the Young T-Rex, Dimetrodon, Lycanops or Tyranops, the amazing and never fortunate Velociraptor, it's screaming and yet original repaint of this guy, the screaming, screaming raptor, and of course let's get the big ones, the Stegosaurus from the Lost World line, and of course Everyone's favorite, the young T-Rex. Oh, wow. Let's get a top view of this. Alright, bear with me. And there you have it. A whole collection of all the dinosaurs I had that would be later repainted for the first series of JP Dinosaurs. Source. The second line would be repaints of the React Attack dinosaurs, as some people say that the original canoscopes are lost forever, but I beg to differ as they still had the bull T-Rex sculpt. Uh, that's kind of stupid because they could just get the actual figure and sculpt it like, and uh, cast it like that, which was pretty stupid if you think me. They could have done that instead of sort of just repainting it, but then we would have the amazing 2005 Ultra T-Rex with his black skin. Uh, okay, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Remember to like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.